Tess and I live like across the street from each other, literally, but I got ready first and I'm really hungry. So I was like, just meet me at the grocery store. Cause I'm gonna go to the grocery store and grab some food. We're on the train. This is Tess. This is Shane. Shane's super excited, and also Tess is super excited to be filmed this entire day. So excited. So we just got to Provence. Uh, or Provence. I don't think you're supposed to pronounce the S, but you know, whatever. We don't know if we're supposed to walk or take the bus, but I think we're gonna walk because it's not that far. And uh, he hasn't eaten, so Shane's gonna get some food. <laughs> He's hungry, hungry. He's hungry. Shane, how happy are you? I'm so happy. That's a lie. <laughs> So we've walked the equivalent of maybe like three minutes up a hill and it was a lot. So we took a break, but we're looking at this view. We're on our way to the castle that has a name that I forget again. And it's hot, but it's not too hot, but we are gonna sweat because you have to walk up hills. I'm still out of breath and we've taken a break for like five minutes now. So we stopped by this museum because it was a $2 entrance uh, for students. And I think it's just the Museum du Provence. Between 1854 and 1859, 1,258 infants were like left in these things. And it was, these were created to fight against infanticide. So we're downstairs in the basement and there's just a whole bunch of stones kind of around. They have like things that you can read to see what the stones say. It feels like a museum that like you got left in overnight and now there's no more rules. We found a little photo spot, so we're gonna like take photos here for a little while. You might catch them on the gram. Hello. I don't know why I said it like that, but we're gonna go get some food. Hello. <laughs> okay, he's talking to herself again. <laughs> also like this car, can I pull up in this? What car? True. <laughs> we're going into the like more of the 
petit village to eat. I don't like the word village. <laughs> I was like, wow, free samples. This is so funny. You know what I think is interesting about this city is like people live here, right? Which is obvious, but like everybody else here who's touristing is taking pictures in front of people's like homes because they're so beautiful, which I just find interesting. The other thing I think, I think is true the windows are very low and like big here and it is giving this place used to be a merchant city and that you would merchant sell out of your windows and i'm not positive if that's true or not but i think that's what these windows are for and that's why they're so big They're like all French songs as well, so like... Amazing. <laughs> That's cute. That's Shane has adopted the role of the group photographer. He was like on the ground doing all the angles to make sure I got a, a good uh, photo. And he actually suggested the spot. He was like, nah, right here. Angle like this, make triangles. Yeah, of course you're in the frame. Shout out to this photographer, Go Off King. Tess is taking us through the history of the city. She actually knows a lot since she's a history student. We're on like the wall of the Provence and you get to see like the greenery and it's nice. It makes me almost miss New Jersey. Notice how I said almost. Uh, if you're coming to Provence, I recommend getting some food, bringing a picnic blanket, maybe bringing some food. I feel like it's mostly a peaceful experience, aside from, you know, so the, when the, little train is going. the little train is driving past. <laughs> so my phone's at 11% and it's probably gonna die soon. So this is the end of the vlog. We are picnicking and a field of flowers right across from Provence. Bye guys. Like lean against the wall, we could say, or like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>